Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you are watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some news coming out from China. We're going to be talking about the Chinese defense minister. His name is Dong Jun. So we'll be talking about him in today's video. So we've got a warning coming from him saying that China is ready to forcefully take Taiwan. And he's also making some very uh, provocative statements during this summit that he's uh, currently at right now. He's at the IISS Shangri-La Dialogue. It's Asia's premier defense summit. And they talk about security challenges in the uh, South China Sea. All the Asian countries are there right now meeting and discussing what's going on. And uh, a lot of this is due to the, um, the Taiwan issue that's happening right now where China wants to take over Taiwan and bring it back to the mainland. We've talked about this multiple times. I've done lots of videos on it. Uh, China also initiated some uh, military drills recently once again surrounding Taiwan and, we, and everybody thought that this was going to be the invasion. Um, and I'm also hearing lots of unconfirmed reports that there could potentially be an invasion of, of uh, Taiwan maybe this month. Um, here in the next maybe week or two. I highly doubt that'll happen that soon, um, but who knows? Any, anything can happen, but we know right now that uh, China is closely cooperating with the United States and trying to work out a solution here to uh, safely um, and securely bring Taiwan back to the mainland without there being some type of conflict, but it looks like um, at some point we may see some sort of conflict, and we're going to be talking more about that here today. So while he's speaking at this conference, he mentioned here, he said, anyone who ever dares to split Taiwan and China will be crushed to pieces and suffer his own destruction. So he made a very, very major statement here stating that uh, they'll destroy any nation that steps in, this, in the way of Taiwan um, and they will do whatever is necessary, even forcefully stop Taiwan from gaining its independence or maintaining it. Okay, so uh, definitely a huge, huge statement coming out from him. So we're going to go ahead and talk some more about this today. I've got an article here on Al Jazeera for you. China ready to forcefully stop Taiwan independence, says Defense Minister. Dong Jun says whoever dares to split Taiwan from China will be crushed to pieces and suffer his own destruction. Isn't that crazy? Just crazy the, the uh, rhetoric that uh, all these top leaders around the world, the things that they say, it's just absolutely insane. Chinese Defense Minister Zhang Jun says his military is ready to forcefully stop Taiwan's independence, but called for greater exchanges with the United States over the issue. Speaking at the Shangri-La Dialogue Conference in, in Singapore on Sunday, Dong said Taiwan was the core of core issues for China, but Taiwan's governing Democratic Progressive Party is incrementally pursuing separatism and bent on erasing Chinese identity. China views Taiwan as its own territory despite strong objections, objections excuse me, from Taipei and last month staged war, war games around the island in anger at the May 20th inauguration of President William Lai ching Te, whom Beijing calls a separatist. So um, I just did a video on that whenever China started launching these uh, military drills surrounding the island again. Um, a lot of this was due to the, uh, the new president, William Lai ching Te of uh, Taiwan, Telling, telling Beijing and China to, uh, you know, basically leave them alone, stop threatening them, and accept the fact that they were a uh, democratic nation, um, a democracy. So um, that angered China, and that's why they started, you know, initiating these drills. So those separatists recently made fanatical statements that show their betrayal of the Chinese nation and their ancestors. They will be nailed to the pillar of shame in his in in his in history. Excuse me, Dong said adding that China was committed to peaceful reunification with Taiwan. Chinese People's Liberation Army has always been an indestructible and powerful force in defense of the unification of the motherland, and it will act resolutely and forcefully at all times to curb the independence of Taiwan and to ensure that it never succeeds in its attempts, Dong told the forum on Sunday. Whoever dares to split Taiwan from China will be crushed to pieces and suffer his own destruction. Reacting to the Chinese minister's statements, Taiwan's government said it deeply regretted the provocative and ir uh, irrational remarks. Wow. So they uh, they regretted that for sure. Dong's remarks in, in Singapore followed the first substantive substantive face-to-face uh, -face talks in 18 months between the defense chiefs of China and the, U and the U.S. Dong and U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin met for more than an hour at the luxury hotel hosting the forum. 
We've always been open to exchanges and cooperation, but this requires both sides to meet each other halfway, Dong told the Shangri-La Dialogue. We believe that we need more exchanges precisely because there are differences between our two militaries. After the meeting, Austin said telephone conversations between U.S. and Chinese military commanders would resume in the coming months, while Beijing hailed the stabilizing security relations between the two countries. So this right here, the fact that they say they'll resume uh, dialogue and, and conversations in the next uh, few months or the coming months, that's what makes me think that there's not going to be anything major that's going to happen with Taiwan right now. You know, this could be a year or two years down the line. Who knows? Um, but uh, we do know that China is, is very persistent, okay? They keep telling the entire world, especially the U.S., that they will take Taiwan, okay? If they have to do it forcefully using their military and invade the country and take it, they will do it. Um, and the U.S. has come out many times, and they've kind of gone back and forth in a way where they'll say they support Taiwan and their independence, then they don't. I think Biden came out and said that just recently, like a month or two ago, that uh, he no longer supported the independence of Taiwan or something like that, something along those lines. So it's kind of like they support them, but then they don't. Um, but I think ultimately, in the end, personally, I think they would come in and defend Taiwan. Um, and, uh, you know, we know that uh, the U.S. has been setting up more bases and giving missiles to the Philippines that could strike uh, Chinese mainland as well. We'll talk about that some more here in just a little bit. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll cite this down below for you and you guys can read some more of this if you want to. Just wanted to give you the bulk of it right there uh, when it comes to this defense minister speaking at this conference. So like I said, clearly uh, they're very serious about taking Taiwan and uh, the defense minister definitely means business here. If he's saying that whoever dares to split Taiwan and China will be crushed to pieces and suffer his own destruction. So they're willing to uh, go to war with any nation over Taiwan, basically, is what they're saying, including the United States. They're not afraid of, of uh, any country stepping in the way. And they state that they'll destroy any nation um, that gets involved here, that this is their fight with them. So I've got a couple things here I want to show you as well. We're going to go over this on uh, on X. Okay, this is from Megatron Ron. Breaking. China threatens NATO. We will crush anyone who tries to interfere in the internal affairs between China and Taiwan. The statement from the Chinese government comes after news that Canada would deploy warships to the South China Sea and after America's recent move to arm the Philippines with missiles that could reach major Chinese cities. Defense Minister Dong Jun. China remains committed to peaceful reunification. However, this prospect is increasingly being eroded by separatists for China or excuse me for China for Taiwan independence and foreign forces. So he's talking about uh, everybody meddling in with this and getting involved, primarily the United States. <clears throat> so that's really big news right there that Canada's Canada's going to be deploying warships to the South China Sea and then also like I said, uh, the Philippines got some missiles now that can strike uh, Chinese cities and um, the US sent these missiles over there to the Philippines. And a lot of this, too, was uh, the fact that uh, the Philippines has been been uh, harassed quite a bit. Their, um, their coast guards that try to go and bring aid to several islands there around the Philippines, they constantly come under um, you know harassment by the Chinese coast guard spraying water cannons. And then we also heard from the Chinese president just the other day warning China and telling him that, uh, telling uh, Xi Jinping, that uh, you know that this risk war that if any any uh, member of their military or anything like that if anybody is ever killed in these altercations that happen over here in the South China Sea with these water cannons and all that that I've been reporting a lot on that uh, this risk is like a red line for them okay and they'd be willing to go to war uh, declare war on China if any of their uh, people are hurt or uh, killed in these attacks uh, uh, by these uh, Chinese Coast Guard okay so uh, yeah. There's a video here of him speaking, but this is actually in Chinese, so we're not going to show you this one. I actually have another one here. We're going to go over this uh, from Lord Bebo. Anyone who dares to separate Taiwan from China will be shattered and destroyed. Chinese Defense Minister Dong Jun at the Shangri La Dialogue 2024. So just a 13 second clip of him actually saying this and uh, Lord Bebo decided to bring us some, uh, some captions. So uh, it'll make it easy for us to understand. So let's take a look. So there you go. If you see that, he says, anyone who dares to separate Taiwan from China, and then he goes on to say, 
will be shattered and destroyed. Okay, so very, very major statement there. Definitely China is not messing around. And uh, they're not uh, they're not willing to, you know, to screw around here when it comes to Taiwan. And they're very serious, in my opinion. I think they're very serious about taking Taiwan. It's just really a matter of time before they do so. Um, and uh, clearly, you know, Taiwan is they want to be independent. They don't want to be part of China. They've come out and said that many times. Um, and their leadership clearly right now is very, very pro, um, you know, being independent and not wanting to be part of China. So. This may push uh, China to, at some point, launch some sort of full-scale invasion of Taiwan and try to take over the nation. So, um, yeah, it's just uh, lots of big news coming out over here from China. And I wanted to share this story with you because I think it's a pretty big statement coming from the Chinese Defense Minister, Dong Jun. Okay, so let me know what you think down below, though. That's going to be it for this update. If you got something out of this, please smash that like button. And also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell, that way YouTube can notify you. And with that, I hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless, and we'll see you in the next one.